Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, I'm going to make a special chi cheng fun. It is a recipe that you can't really find online. Uh, at least I couldn't find it. But this is a type of Hakka style chi cheng fun. Hakka is an ethnic uh, Chinese group that currently live mainly in uh, South China. But this chi cheng fun uh, steamed noodle rice roll is inspired by a restaurant that I had growing up in New York City called South Wind. I know a lot of people watch my videos, uh, they're from New York City, and they know about the South Wind. And they all tell me that their style of chi cheng fun is one of the best. And luckily, you can basically see the ingredients that go into it, uh, so it's not too hard to figure out uh, how it's done. But I find that this Hakka style of making uh, chi cheng fun is uh, quite unique because you basically cook all the filling and then you just add it into the rice noodle. And it is very, very different than a chi cheng fun uh, that I've had around uh, New York City as well, as also outside of the US. Because there are many styles of chi cheng fun uh, in Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, China, and in Thailand, there's also a steamed rice roll called Goi Tiu Lod. Now to me, this Hakka style of steamed rice roll is so flavorful and the main reason why is because there's a lot of oil back then my friends called uh, the south wind style chi cheng fun uh, we call it a grease bombs and when i created this recipe i kind of found out uh, that uh, the reason why it's so uh, damn tasty is because uh, they flavor the oil and that is the main key that separates this type of steamed rice roll from there their cantonese uh, style uh, chi cheng fun okay now for the rice noodles i made these last night look at this it's a large sheet and it took a while to make. It was a real pain in the ass. Uh, but if you want to make smaller uh, portions of rice noodles, uh, just follow my link below. I made a video to show you how to do it. Uh, so you can use smaller portions to make this particular type of chi uh, cheng fun. But I made large sheets because I'm going to be making a lot of these because I love eating these and I miss it. But I do have some good news for those that don't want to go through all the work of making a large sheet of uh, rice noodle. If you're lucky enough to live near a factory that makes rice noodles, or if you're really friendly with the local Asian supermarket, you can ask them if they can get you large sheets of rice noodles like this. And then once you get it, you can just follow along the recipe and that's it. Okay. So let's get to it. So this one cup of oil is gonna be flavored by this whole lot of spring onions. By the way, I'm making a lot, all right? So uh, I think uh, for you guys, if you're making it at home, all you need is just half a cup of oil. I have about five stalks of spring onions. Just chop it up into little bits like that. And this is the key ingredient for making a flavorful oil that's gonna go on top of the rice noodles. And here I've got some mystery meat, spam. So the spam is gonna add that little extra bit of salty porkiness. I have 100 grams of ground pork here that I marinated it with a, a tablespoon of light soy sauce for about 30 minutes and then just cook it off. And right here I have 12 grams of dried shrimp. I already washed the dried shrimp uh, to get rid of like any like dirt or stuff. You soak it in water for about two hours, strain it, and then in a little while, I'm just gonna chop it up into smaller bits. And right here is one and a half tablespoons of toasted white sesame seeds. Just toast it in a pan for about one to two minutes on a low heat and that's it. Now there's also a little bit of other seasoning ingredients that I'm gonna add to this filling. So I'm gonna get to that later. So the first thing that I have to do is to flavor the oil. So let's get to it. So I've got my pot here going on a low heat and I'm gonna add all of my oil. And I need to heat this oil up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And how do I know this oil is at 350 degrees? Well, you take a chopstick and you put it down the center and when it immediately fizzes like that, right there, you see that? You know your oil is hot enough. All right, so now is the time to drop in the spring onions. And then I'm gonna drop the heat down 
just a little bit. That is going to flavor your chi chong fun. Now, this is the main reason why uh, Southwind's chi chong fun tastes so damn good because they have flavored spring onion oil. And that is some good stuff. So my heat's turned off. I'm going to chop up my dry shrimp. And then I'm just going to let this cool down for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to add some other seasoning ingredients. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt plus half a teaspoon of MSG. Now I'm not certain they have MSG in there or not, but I remember it's got a little bit of that umami taste in it. So I'm assuming that it's going to be a little bit of MSG. And I'm also going to need half a teaspoon of white ground pepper. Mmm, that just smells so good. Alright, so right now, I just need to strain the oil. And just squeeze out the oil from the dry shrimp and the spring onions. Okay, so I'm gonna set the oil aside and now I'm going to combine the filling. Just drop in the Spam and the ground pork. And just want to thoroughly combine all the ingredients and that's that. Okay, so right now I've got my flavored oil and my filling, plus the sesame seeds. Now it's time to roll the rice noodles, the fun part. Okay, so right now I'm gonna brush my work surface lightly with that flavored oil. And then I'm gonna apply my steamed rice noodle right on the surface. Just gonna lightly brush it with more oil on the surface of the steamed rice noodle. Sprinkle on some filling. And you don't want to overload it with too many filling because the main ingredient of this is the steamed rice noodle, right? So don't go overboard. And then don't forget we need some just a light dusting of sesame seeds. All right, and then we just start rolling it up. Just like that. You can also add some more sesame seeds on top. So if you want to eat this warm, you can just steam it uh, in a steamer pot for like a few minutes, uh, or you can just uh, put it into a microwave at the lowest setting, uh, microwave uh, on low power for about 10 seconds, and you can heat this up. Okay, you guys think I made enough? Look at that, whole bunch of chi chong fun. It's gonna last me, uh, I don't know, half a day. If you want to learn how to make Chinese style steamed rice noodles, check out this video right here. Mm. Just like soft wind, man. <laughs>